In this video, I want to go over a very simple algorithm called FizzBuzz, and surprisingly, it's a very common question in programming interviews. Now, there's four specific criteria that this function, FizzBuzz, needs to meet in order for this algorithm to be uh, complete. The first, the first criteria is, if the input that we give it is divisible by 3, it will return the string Fizz. 2, if the input is divisible by 5, it will return Buzz. 3, if the input is divisible by both 3 and 5, it will return the string fizz buzz. And 4, for any other number, uh, it will return the same input. So I'm going to paste this criteria right here. And we're just going to go step by step and uh, complete each solution to each criteria. So number 1, if the input is divisible by 3, the function will return the string fizz. So if the input modulus 3 is equal to 0, so if the input is divisible by 3, we're just going to return fizz. That's not that, so fizz. And if the input is divisible by 5, so we're on criteria number 2, it will return buzz. So if the input modulus 5 is equal to 0, we're going to return um, buzz, so buzz. I'm actually going to make this a capital F. Okay. And criteria number three if the input is divisible by both three and five, it will return the string fizz buzz. So if input modulus three is equal to zero and input modulus five is equal to zero, we're just going to return fizz buzz. So return. Fizz buzz. And then 4 for any other number, number, it will return the same input. So to solve that, it's really easy. We can just return input. And the reason this is, is because if none of these conditions were met, it means it wasn't divisible by 3 and 5. And we're just going to return input. And if it, any of these conditions were met, it's just going to return fizz buzz. And this condition right here will never be met. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this out, test each and every single condition. Um, and we're going to see if this works properly. So we're just going to print our function fizzbuzz and we're going to start out with the very first criteria. If the input is divisible by 3, the function will return fizz. So print 3, we're going to run it. It printed fizz, so that worked for that condition. Number 2, if the input is divisible by 5, it will return buzz, so run. Run hello, buzz. And if the Number three, if the input is divisible by both three and five, it will return fizzbuzz. So if we put 15 and we ran it, as you can see, it's fizz. It should have returned fizzbuzz. And the reason being is because this condition, if input modulus three is equal to zero and input modulus five is equal to zero, it's more specific than say, if input modulus three is equal to zero. So even though this 15 is divisible by both three and five, it's divisible by 3. So this imp this condition was met and it returned fizz. So since this condition right here is more specific, we need to move it to the very beginning. And what we need to do is we're just I'm just going to cut it. And I'm just going to paste it up here. So paste. So let's try this again and we will run this. So run hello. So it returned fizz buzz. We met condition number three. We need to do number two. So we'll do five or yeah, three for condition number one, fizz. And if we did condition number two, if it's divisible by five, we'll run it, buzz. Okay, so for the last condition, for any other number, it will return the same input. So if we say 26, that's not divisible by three or five, and we ran it, it returns 26. Okay, so that is a very uh, simple algorithm that you'll actually see quite frequently in coding interviews. Um, if you received any value from this video or you learned anything, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed.